Hello everybody, and I want to show today um, the steps I did for working with the BeagleBone Black. I have the BeagleBone Black wireless, and I the steps I want to do is just to make it working, and then uh, uh, to make uh, internet and uh, use the USB OTG. Um, drivers in order to communicate with the host and also to connect the, the BeagleBone Black into the internet. So first of all, it took me some time, but eventually um, the build route um, does work, which means that if I'm taking the, um, the def config from, um, from BeagleBone, uh, BeagleBone def config just using this, this one and typing make we can enter to the um, uh, to the rules configuration I'm using the X config changing very few things here like the um, the toolchain to make it external toolchain and not let the build it, build the toolchain by itself and let's note that the kernel is the processor SDK, this is the official uh, Linux SDK from TI, this is the GitHub commit ID, and that's it. Almost from this point of view, I didn't change anything, just add as usual my favorite editor, your editor. And then I type make and let the build uh, prepare an image. So the first time um, I ran it, I waited and didn't see anything on screen. This is because there is no HDMI um, drivers, so the, the uh, HDMI doesn't work. Let's see the images uh, directory. Those are the files that the uh, build root created for us. We have the um, all the device uh, overlay, device tree overlay, and we are using the AM32 uh, Bone Black currently. Although I'm using the wireless, I did so that there is um, a wireless version of device tree which I'm not using just now. This is the MLO file for the U boot. The root file system, the, the target SD card that we want to burn, and, and the U boot and the UNV. So, first of all, before we uh, start, let's see the uh, document I prepared and say the following. So, we started with the bigger bone black def config. And in order to view the um, uh, and connect to the BeagleBone, we shall use the UART. And for that, there is a very nice article from this person called Chief Space that uh, describes how to connect it. He said here that we don't need to do a um, uh, cross between RX and TX. I found that um, I must reverse the RX and TX. But doesn't so matter. So once you reverse um, the connection here between RX and TX, then uh, you can connect to the uh, to the bigger bone black. So once you have the SD card, you can use Itcher or um, D or whatever tool. I'm using the Itcher, a very very easy tool working multi-platform on Windows and Linux so um, you can burn the SD card so BeagleBone Black can load from uh, the SD card or from the or from the uh, internal null, the EMC and in order to load from the SD card you need to push uh, the, first of all the power should be uh, off, 
you need to press the S2 button uh, constantly and then plug in the power, the 5 volt power and after it you can you need to wait until the U-boot and the kernel start loading and then you can um, unhold the button again and two things will happen first of all you uh, the kernel will continue loading and then uh, it also will burn the, the SD card image into the NAND but in order to make it working we need to do some changes because the UNV uh, file for a uh, um, uh, uh, build root is not yet completed so we need to add it Okay, so this is the file that um, I took from the internet. It's, uh, it's some kind of straightforward. This is the device tree um, file, device tree block. Um, currently, this is the bone black, but as I told you, I, I thought I, I saw a bone black wireless somewhere. So next video, probably I will find it and uh, we'll see how to use it. So currently, this is the file. Um, this is the Z image. The new, newest version of U-Boot can work with Z image. Doesn't need a UI image. Um, those are the addresses and the, um, uh, the uh, all the script in order to load uh, the kernel and start the uh, boot process. So that's it mostly. The only thing I did is just um, copy the um, on the mix file. I copy the both big one in V into the binaries in V, and also I can uh, copy the profile and it is in network. But currently, let's see what we can do. So we have the SD card ready uh, with the UNV and our uh, our um, uh, bigger bone should uh, should start and this is the bigger bone that Okay, so sorry about it. This is our bigger bone, and it's up. So the next thing after it's up, I want to connect it to the host using the USB OTG. And the way I did it is the following. First of all, we need to read this document. This is an official from the processor SDK wiki that says which uh, drivers we want to use, we need to use in order to uh, enable the USB OTG. So this is the MUSB Linux driver configuration. Um, one very important thing is all the kernel uh, uh, settings. Mostly in the in build root, all those um, drivers will be enabled. I found maybe the 
B is not enabled and probably maybe another one. So we need to go using the the make Linux uh, make uh, Linux menu config and find every driver in the list here using config USB can uh, search using the slash and for example search everyone and check that it is, it is enabled so I will go will not go over the list but you should, should go over here here and find that HGRC DSP, DSPS the AM and CCP all of them should be enabled this is uh, the list here it's very um, um, very clear the next thing we need to do we need to do correlation what do I mean we need to correlate between the kernel and drivers into the Linux host modules and the way we do it um, is something that I don't know, maybe there is another way, but um, I just searched the name inside the uh, Linux uh, on the target. This is the BeagleBone already. This is the, uh, the image. So I uh, can go to lib uh, modules here. And uh, drivers and find the page. For example, so we see that the DSPS module is MUSB DSPS. So all the modules I listed here USB SH. This is the module that we need to load MUSB HDRC, MUSB AM, DSPS, CPP, this is the DMA, and this is the Ethernet gadget. The Ethernet gadget is actually this one, this driver config USB gadget, this one, the module itself is uh, the uh, G Ethernet. But first of all, we need to load all those uh, AGRC, all those drivers. So once um, we load it, uh, what I did is the following, I just um, I just find the script and if we will do ls mode we can see all the necessary drivers for the ethernet so how do we get this um, uh, usb uh, uh, entry in the, in the network we continue to a different um, article and the article is this one, how to use USB device networking. Um, as you see here, this is a partial um, information, so I skip it. But the information from here is very um, uh, very clear. We already did mode probe. And to connect to device to a PC, just follow what said here. Um, this is the OC to assign this one uh, to the target and verify so if you follow this um, steps from here uh, to here you will be able to connect to the internet exactly what it's mentioned here <coughs> so so um, so to summarize all these steps um, you take a uh, dev config from big uh, bidrus and uh, change the UNV according to the uh, to what I what I saw I, uh, and then you connect of course UART in order to view the footing then you um, follow and make sure that all the drivers are listed 
next step to um, to improve all the, the models which are not listed here I uh, I show it here and finally and go through the this article here in order to connect it to the internet I will uh, post this uh, document uh, in the description and hope it will help you to make the bigger bone black to start working also with the internet have a nice day bye bye